Hello, I'm Susie Cowper and this is my second vlog and it's November. It's really exciting. And I thought I'd kick off with the exciting news because I've had a tea cosy published in the Simply Knitting magazine. Look, this one. It's issue, what issue number is it? Um, 218. And it's in the shops now. Woo! And you get a few freebies. Look, there's a couple of little knitting booklets with different patterns in, one for Christmas and one for jumpers and things. But you also get these really lovely little buttons. Oh, they're sweet. They've got a little robin motif on them. Really cute. Anyway, so I wanted to show you. Um, here it is. Look. It's a lovely little tea cosy of a mistletoe mouse. He's got a present, a mistletoe on his ears. Well, they're not on his ears. He's holding them up with his tail. So he's hoping for a kiss. So, um, so that knitting pattern's in there. And I thought I'd show you what he actually looks like. Here he is, look. Isn't he cute? <laughs> so he's nice, isn't he, when you pour in? He's cute and he's got a big present. Don't know what he's got in there. Nuts, I expect. <laughs> what I've been working on over the past week is the cafetiere cosy. Look, and it's um, a little snowman and he's got a couple of, you can't see very well because all the ends, but they'll all go when I sew it together. But he's got a couple of strings of lights and his little arms. So he's quite cute and his little eyes and because you've still got access to the top. And that looks like his hat, doesn't it? It looks quite cool. So um, the lady who I'm making this for, she also wanted a mini sized one. And I haven't got a mini sized cafetiere, so I'm waiting for that to turn up, it's on order. But um, then I should design a smaller one as well and then I shall sell the pattern, launch it, both patterns together. So you'll get two for the price of one. So a large one and a small one. But I didn't want to do another snowman that looked the same with the, with the lights. So the small one, I thought it'd be quite fun if he's holding up a snowball and he's going to throw it at you. I thought that'd be quite sweet. So there'd be two different versions of a snowman cafetiere cosy. So that was something to look forward to. I'm hoping to get it out as soon as possible, really, with it being November already. Can you believe it? I thought the next project that I'd like to make is not, well, it's a bit Christmassy, but not massive, full on Christmas. I wanted to make, look, a little 1960s type deer in a tea cosy, of course, with yarn, <laughs> not pottery. But look at this one. I got this one from the charity shop and it's just adorable, isn't it? And you know, in the 1960s, they all went a bit mad for this style deer, didn't they? And um, it was probably because Bambi came out, did it? But you know, they all have the big eyes. This one's a bit boss eyed, can you see? But I quite like boss eyed, <laughs> but anyway. He's, yeah, he's looking at the end of his nose, which is cute, and they have the big ears and the spots on the back. They never have antlers, do they, in the 1960s? But I want to make something like this. And I think it feels a bit Christmassy as well, because of baby sham. You know, that was, was that the 1960s when everybody drank baby sham? That, I don't know, was it yellow or white? Anyway, what I thought was, or was it white when you put it with lemonade and turned it into a snowball? Somebody will tell me. Anyway, I thought if I do a little tea cosy, obviously it's not the right shape because it'll end up being a big fat thing, but I thought I could do the under part of the cosy in white, like it's snow and he stood there. And I thought that'd be really sweet because it's a nod to the 1960s and I love vintage. And I just thought it'd be quite cute and it's another little animal and I like animals. And it's Christmassy, so I thought that'd be really nice. My fun project, as you might remember from last time, is, um, oh, I'm doing that winter berry cal. I can't remember who designed it, sorry. But we're on week three, and this is as far as I've got. It's looking good, isn't it? I really like it, actually. I've not stuck to the colours, I've used what I've got. And I'm making it for charity. I'm gonna give it to the Swindon Big Knit at the Orbital, so they, could, they make blankets and things for the homeless and the vulnerable. So that'll be a really lovely blanket to give them, won't it? I really like it. And it's just using up odd bits of wool. 
So it's really nice. I like it. I quite like the loopies. I've not crocheted loops before, so that was something new. And I do like the bobbles. They do take a bit longer, but I do think they look nice, don't they? Nice bit of texture. So yeah, that's as far as I've got. I'll show you again next month. I'll perhaps have finished it by then. So I recently finished and I'm going to launch next week more Terry's Chocolate Orange Cozies because everybody really loved the Terry's Chocolate Orange Cozies because it's nice isn't it because it's just a bit of a boring bit of chocolate really but once you've funked it up with a bit of knitting they look really cool don't they? So this is part of a new collection before I'd got Santa and a princess and that kind of thing but now I've got a little gingerbread man he's cute Oh, I've got mistletoe for the special person in your life that you want to get a kiss from. I've got the Christmas tree, which I rather like. Oh, isn't it lovely? It looks amazing from all angles. And I've done a little, um, oh, a gingerbread house. I've done a few more as well. I've done um, a snowman standing on his head and a mince pie. There's seven designs in all, and I'm going to launch them Thursday this week. So keep a look out for that. If you're not on the newsletter, sign up to the newsletter because I always just send out emails of when the new products are being launched, the new patterns. So if you want to know straight away when the pattern's launched, you need to be on that newsletter. So that's the end of this month's vlog. Hope you enjoy November, it's brilliant. The nights are longer, there's more time to sit and knit, and it's too cold to be outside anyway, so it's nice to be indoors in the warm, playing with balls of yarn. And um, yeah, so that's all the news for this month. But what you do need to look out for next month, there was a spoiler alert in the Simply Knitting magazine. There's another tea cozy in next month's magazine. Can you see it? It's old Lang Syne. So it's another lovely tea cosy to look forward to in December. So that'll be nice. I'll show you more about that, you know, nearer the time. But I hope you have a lovely November. Keep knitting and keep warm, keep safe. Talk to you soon. Bye.